Super quick video this week on this, a ghostly light patch that sometimes appears on your videos or pictures. I've heard a few people saying it's a lens fall or a result of poor quality ND filters. Well, it's neither. So today I'll explain what it is and how to avoid it ruining your videos. Hello, I'm Ian and I play with drones and so I have often seen this optical feature appear on some of my videos that I've been filming and after a few comments from subscribers thinking it was a lens fault I thought I'd explain exactly what's happening. It's actually a well documented but not very well known optical phenomenon that until the use of drones came along only ever appeared in very few specific circumstances. It's known as an opposition surge or a hotspot or a glory or sometimes by the uh, German noun the Heiligen chain. And as some of those names imply, uh, it's all to do with where the position of the sun is relative to what it is you're actually filming. Pictures are less prone to this effect, but there's, uh, it's there, but it's, it's easy to miss. But with a video from a moving drone, it really does. Uh, it follows you around and it looks like a ghostly light that is, uh, is literally following the drone as it flies along. Putting yourself in the drone's camera's position, it will be most prominent when your camera is sloping down, filming the ground below with the sun directly behind the camera. Now, if the sun is shining down all over the ground you're filming, why should there be this extra bright spot that follows the drone along? Well, it is literally the spot where the sun's light is going to be most reflected back to the camera by the rough surface that you're filming. These back reflections are increased when the surface you're filming has shiny components like fresh young blades of grass and it's especially magnified when it's dewy or wet where the tiny water droplets will act like millions of tiny lenses reflecting most of the light back in the direction that it came from. You can see examples of this on good old Wikipedia where the opposition surge is more often highlighted in space photography as well as the effect you get from looking down onto clouds when flying in a plane. And as I said, until drones came along there weren't that many situations where this phenomenon was actually apparent, but filming the ground from a moving drone is kind of most of what we do and that's why we're seeing more and more of this. But um, look, that's what it's called and without getting into too much physics, that's why it actually happens. So what can you actually do to avoid it? Well, firstly, try avoid filming the ground with the sun directly behind you. As you can see here, it is always going to be where the shadow of the drone itself is. As I came down to the ground here, you can actually see the shadow of the Mavic 3 I'm using to film this particular sequence. As I increase height, you'll lose the shadow itself, but you'll still see the bright glory itself continuing to travel as the drone moves along. So first step, as said, don't film with the sun directly behind you. That is the simplest trick. Secondly, avoid filming where the ground is wet or covered in dew as this will also massively increase the effect. And of course, if you're not worried about it even being sunny in the first place, you will never get this effect if it's cloudy. So that is another trick. If you can fly when it's cloudy, do so. And finally, if all of this is still driving you bananas, you can uh, try using a polarised filter. Polarisers reduce and cut out a lot of the reflected light and this effect is completely reflected light. You may need an adjustable polarizer and you may need to turn the filter's orientation to get maximum effect, but this is going to be another way to reduce the effect from uh, appearing in your videos. Uh, the good thing is though, there's nothing actually wrong with your setup and there are steps that you can take to avoid it. So look, that's it. One of those things that you may well have seen quite often, but unless you actually knew what was happening and what it actually was, you wouldn't know why and you wouldn't know how to avoid it. So nice quick video today. Sadly, I'm just out from yet another knee operation on my left knee this time. So I'm going to be hobbling around on crutches, unfortunately, again for the next month or so. But uh, by summertime, I should be fit walking and hiking again. But until then, you're probably going to see most of my videos I put out are going to be me sitting down. But anyway, look, as ever, drop me a comment below with anything that's on your mind. And of course, as ever, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, have fun, happy flying.